splitting items and guest bills in ICO is very simple. Here we're going to open a table for two. We're going to add a few items and then split those items between the guests. Let's add a bottle of wine. We highlight the bottle of wine and then we select the scissors down at the bottom. In here, we can specify how many parts we want to split the item into. At the moment, we'd like to do it equally between guests and between all of the guests. The system has automatically split the bottle of wine between both of our guests. Our guests would like a large, skinny crust margarita pizza. We add this to the basket. We highlight the pizza. We use the scissors. And here we can see the default. It is split equally among all guests, and we say OK. Finally, they'd like some sides as well. Again, they would like this item split between each guest. The guests have decided that they'd like to pay separately. We highlight guest one, and then we press guest bill. This separates each guest but keeps them on the same table and with the same waiter. We can now return to each separate guest bill and pay them off individually. There are two ways to split a bill. If, for instance, the guests have already mentioned that they would like to pay individually, we can use this first example, where we split each individual guest out to their own table but the waiter still has control of every individual guest check. In this example, we have three guests. We add each individual item into the basket, and we can then assign it to each guest. As we are already aware that they are wishing to pay separately, we can move them to their own individual tables. We highlight the guest, we click on the three dots at the bottom, and then we change the table number. We can then select Waiter, and we can see that we still own each guest check, but they are on separate tables. We can then add extra items to each guest check. We go into them individually, add their drinks, and then we can simply pay them off separately as required. Alternatively, the guests have completed all of their orders. However, once presented with the guest bill, they discuss and decide that they would like separate bills and pay individually. We start by returning to the table. As we have already presented the guest with a guest bill, when we go back into the table, we are taken straight to the cash register screen. We now need to go back to the order and to also cancel the guest bill, as this is for the entire order, while our guests would like to pay individually. With this scenario, we can pull each guest out by using the guest bill button. By using the guest bill button, the table number doesn't change and the waiter is also still in control of every guest check. By using the guest bill button, we then return to the ICO system and we can then cash off each individual guest check. For more information or to see more training videos, please visit us at ico.co.uk.